हा कार्यक्रम अपन थोड़ा वे सुरुआत करना आहोत सर्वान विनंती है कि कृपया अपन सभा मंडपा यून बसाव धन्यवाद
मिरवणुकीची सुरुवात झालेली आहे ही मिरवणूक थोड्याच वेळात सभामंडप येईल त्यावेळी आपण सर्वांनी उभं राहायचं आहे आणि कुलपती प्रमुख पाहुणे सन्माननीय पाहुणे कुलगुरू अधिष्ठाते व्यवस्थापन मंडळ आणि विद्वत परिषद सदस्य हे व्यासपीठावर स्थानपन्न झाल्यानंतर आपण आसनस्थ व्हायचं आहे द सेरेमोनियल प्रोसेशन हॅज बिगन विच विल रीच द पेंडॉल सून ऑल आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू राईज ॲज द सेरेमोनियल प्रोसेशन एंटर्स इन टू द पेंडॉल अँड बी सीटेड आफ्टर द डिग्नेटरीज टेक देअर सीट्स मिरवणुकीच्या अग्रभागी विद्यापीठाचा मानदंड हाती धरलेले विद्यापीठाच्या परीक्षा विभागाचे नियंत्रक डॉक्टर अंधनी रोज येत आहेत त्यानंतर येत आहेत भारतीय विद्यापीठ अभिमत विश्वविद्यालयाचे कुलपती प्राध्यापक डॉक्टर शिवाजीराव कदम आणि आजच्या समारंभाचे प्रमुख पाहुणे माननीय नामदार श्री पियुष गोयल माननीय डॉक्टर भूषण पटवर्धन त्यानंतर विद्यापीठाचे कुलगुरू प्राध्यापक डॉक्टर माणिकराव साळुंके विद्यापीठाचे प्र कुलगुरू डॉक्टर विश्वजित कदम हे आहेत त्यानंतर आहेत विद्यापीठाचे कुलसचिव श्री जी जयकुमार त्यानंतर विद्यापीठाच्या कला सामाजिक शास्त्र व वाणिज्य विद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर व्ही ए रणखांबे विज्ञान विद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर एस जी पवार विधी विद्याशाखेच्या अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर यू एस बेंडाळे वैद्यक विज्ञान व आंतरविद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर मंदार करमरकर दंतविद्या विद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर आर ए क्षीरसागर आयुर्वेद विद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर ए बी पाटील होमिओपॅथी विद्याशाखेच्या अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर अनिता पाटील परिचर्या विद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर निलिमा भोरे औषध निर्माणशास्त्र विद्याशाखेच्या अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर वर्षा पोखरकर व्यवस्थापन विद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर सचिन वेरणेकर आणि अभियांत्रिकी व तंत्रज्ञान विद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर शशांक जोशी आहे त्यानंतर विद्यापीठाचे व्यवस्थापन मंडळाचे सदस्य डॉक्टर एम जी ताकवले डॉक्टर ए एस शेख तसेच विद्वत परिषदेचे सदस्य डॉक्टर ए बी जाधव डॉक्टर अमिता कुमार डॉक्टर मिसेस व्ही एस सोनी डॉक्टर बी एस सुतार डॉक्टर मिसेस जी एन वाघ डॉक्टर मिसेस टी ए खान डॉक्टर अमोल एस पाटील मिरवणुकीत सहभागी झालेले इन द सेरेमोनियल प्रोसेशन आर ऑनरेबल चान्सलर प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर शिवाजीराव कदम चीफ गेस्ट ऑनरेबल श्री पियुष गोयल ऑनरेबल गेस्ट डॉक्टर डॉक्टर पट भूषण पटवर्धन ऑनरेबल व्हाईस चान्सलर प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर माणिकराव साळुंके ऑनरेबल प्रो व्हाईस चान्सलर डॉक्टर विश्वजित कदम द डीन्स ऑफ द फॅकल्टीज द मेंबर्स ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ मॅनेजमेंट द मेंबर्स ऑफ अकॅडमिक काउन्सिल कंट्रोलर ऑफ एक्झामिनेशन अँड द रेजिस्ट्रार सर्वांनी असं नसतं व्हावं या समारंभाच्या सुरुवातीला आमच्या घटक महाविद्यालयाचे विद्यार्थी आणि विद्यार्थिनी शारदा स्तवन आणि भारती विद्यापीठ गीत सादर करतील द फंक्शन विल स्टार्ट विथ शारदा स्तवन अँड भारती विद्यापीठ गीत
Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor, Secretary Bharati Vidyapit, Minister of Cooperation and Agriculture, Maharashtra State, Dr. Vishwajit Kadam will felicitate Chief Guest Honorable Sri Piyush Goyal. आता माननीय कुलपती सन्माननीय पाहुण्यांचा सत्कार करतील ऑनरेबल चान्सलर डॉक्टर शिवाजीराव कदम विल फेलिस्टेट गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर भूषण पटवर्धन The registrar will request Honorable Chancellor to declare the convocation open. 
to Mr. Chancellor, sir, kindly declare the convocation open. दीप प्रज्वलनाने या पदवी प्रदान समारंभाचं उद्घाटन झालेलं आहे आय डिक्लेअर दॅट दि ट्वेंटी थर्ड कॉन्व्होकेशन ऑफ दिस युनिव्हर्सिटी इज नाव ओपन सर विविध विद्याशाखांचे अधिष्ठाते आपापल्या विद्याशाखेतील पदवी घेणाऱ्या स्नातकांना पदवी आणि पदविका प्रदान कराव्यात अशी माननीय कुलपती यांना विनंती करतील कला सामाजिक शास्त्रे व वाणिज्य विद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर विवेक रणखांबे हे त्या विद्याशाखेच्या स्नातकांना पदवी व पदविका प्रदान कराव्यात अशी माननीय कुलपतींना विनंती करतील ऑल द ग्रॅज्युएट्स ऑफ आर्ट्स सोशल सायन्सेस अँड कॉमर्स फॅकल्टी शुड राईज ऑनरेबल मिस्टर चान्सलर सर आय प्रेझेंट बिफोर यू द स्टुडंट्स हू हॅव बीन डिक्लेअर टू हॅव पास्ट द एक्झामिनेशन ऑफ Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Master of Philosophy, Physical Education, Master of Commerce, Master of Social Work, Master of Business Studies, Master of Arts English, Master of Arts Economics, Master of Arts Sociology, Master of Arts Dance, Master of Arts Music, Master of Library and Information Science, Master of Physical Education, Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Library and Information Science, Bachelor of Arts, Physical Education, Bachelor of Arts, Photography and Cinematography, Bachelor of Arts, Commercial Photography, Bachelor of Physical Education, BP8, Bachelor of Arts, Tourism Studies, Bachelor of Arts, Dance, Bachelor of Arts, Music, Diploma in Banking, Diploma in Marketing, Diploma in Yoga Education, and who have registered for this convocation and are present here. There are some others who have also passed these examinations and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion. I request you to kindly confer on these students the respective degrees and diplomas. Sir, five students of this faculty are awarded the PhD degree in this convocation. यानंतर विज्ञान विद्याशाखेचे अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर एस जी पवार हे त्या विद्याशाखेच्या स्नातकांना पदवी प्रदान करावी अशी माननीय कुलपतींना विनंती करतील ऑल ग्रॅज्युएट्स ऑफ सायन्स फॅकल्टी शुड राईज ऑनरेबल चान्सलर सर आय प्रेझेंट बिफोर यू द स्टुडंट्स हू हॅव बीन डिक्लेअर्ड टू हॅव पास द एक्झामिनेशन ऑफ Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Master of Science, Analytical Chemistry, Master of Science, Organic Chemistry, Master of Science, Environmental Science and Technology, Master of Science, Biotechnology, Master of Science, Microbiology, Master of Science, Computer Science, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Bachelor of Science, Biotechnology, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology and who have registered for this convocation and are present here. There are some others who have also passed these examinations and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion. I request you kindly confer on these students the respective degrees. Sir, nine students of these faculties are awarded PhD degree in this convocation. यानंतर डॉक्टर उज्ज्वला बेंडाळे या विधी शा विद्याशाखेच्या स्नातकांना पदवी पदविका प्रदान कराव्यात अशी माननीय कुलपतींना विनंती करतील ऑल ग्रॅज्युएट्स ऑफ लॉ फॅकल्टी शुड राईज ऑनरेबल मिस्टर चान्सलर सर आय प्रेझेंट बिफोर यू द स्टुडंट्स हू हॅव बीन डिक्लेअर टू हॅव पास्ट द एक्झामिनेशन ऑफ डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलॉसॉफी पी एच डी मास्टर ऑफ लॉज Bachelor of Laws, 5 years degree course, Bachelor of Laws, 3 years degree course, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Laws, BA, LLB, 5 years law, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Laws, BBA, LLB, 5 year law, Bachelor of Arts, Law, BA, Law, Bachelor of Business Administration, Law, BBA, Law, Diploma in Taxation Laws, Diploma in Human Rights, 
Diplomine Alternative Dispute Resolution System, Diplomine Intellectual Property Laws, Diplomine Labor Laws and Labor Welfare, Diplomine Corporate Laws, Diplomine Cyber Laws, Diplomine Merger and Acquisition, Diplomine Foreign Investment Laws, and who have registered for this convocation and are present here. There are some others who have also passed this examinations and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion. I request you to kindly confer on the students the respective degrees and diplomas. So, three students of this faculty are awarded the PhD degree in this convocation. Thank you. Yanantar Vaityak Vidyan Vidya Shakhecha Adishthata Dr. Mandar Karamarkar Hetya Vidya Shakhecha Snatakana Padviva Padvika Pradhan Karavyat Ashe Mananiya Kulapatina Vinanti Karthi All graduates of Medical Sciences faculty should rise. Honorable Mr. Chancellor Sir, I present before you the students who have been declared to have passed the examinations of Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Doctor of Medicine, General Medicine, Doctor of Medicine, Anesthesiology, Doctor of Medicine, Pediatrics, Doctor of Medicine, Radio Diagnosis, Doctor of Medicine, Pathology, Doctor of Medicine, Dermatology, Venerology and Leprosy, Doctor of Medicine, Pharmacology, Doctor of Medicine, Psychiatry, Doctor of Medicine, Microbiology, Doctor of Medicine, Community Medicine, Doctor of Medicine, Emergency Medicine, Master of Surgery, Obstetrics and Gynecology, Master of Surgery, General Surgery, Master of Surgery Orthopedics, Master of Surgery Ophthalmology, Master of Surgery ENT, Master of Science Medical Microbiology, Doctor of Medicine Neonatology, Doctor of Medicine Critical Care, Doctor of Medicine Cardiology, MCH Urology, Master of Optometry M Optom, Master of Science Audiology, Master of Science Speech Language Pathology, Master of Hospital Administration, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Clinical Optometry, Bachelor of Audiology and Speech Language Pathology, Bachelor of Science Applied, Biomedical Techniques, BM Tech, Diploma in Childhood Pediatrics, Diploma in Anesthesiology, Diploma in Clinical Pathology, Diploma in Medical Laboratory Technology, and who have registered for this convocation and are present here. There are some others who have also passed these examinations and who have registered for this convocation, but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion. I request you to kindly confer on these students the respective degrees and diplomas. Sir, one student of this faculty is awarded the PhD degree in this convocation. Yanantar Danta Vidya Shakhecha Adishthata Dr. R. A. Kshirsagar Hetya Vidya Shakhecha Snatakana Padvi Pradhan Karavi Ashe Mananiya Kulapatina Vinanti Karthi all graduates of dentistry faculty should rise. Honorable Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present before you the students who have been declared to have passed the examinations of Master of Dental Surgery in Prosthodontics and Crown and Bridge, Master of Dental Surgery in Periodontology, Master of Dental Surgery in Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Master of Dental Surgery in Orthodontics and Dentofacial Orthopedics, Master of Dental Surgery in Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics, Master of Dental Surgery in Oral Medicine and Radiology, Master of Dental Surgery in Pedodontics and Preventive Dentistry, Master of Dental Surgery in Pediatric and Preventive Dentistry, Bachelor of Dental Surgery, and who have registered for this convocation and are present here. There are some others who have also passed these examinations and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion. I request you to kindly confer on these students the respective degrees. Yanantar Ayurved Vidya Shakhecha Adishthata Dr. A.B. Patil Hetya Vidya Shakhecha Snatakana Padvi Vo Padvika Pradhan Karavyat Ashe Mananiya Kulapatina Vinanti Karthi. All graduates of Ayurveda faculty should rise. Honorable Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present before you the students who have been declared to have passed the examinations of Ayurved Varidhi PhD, Ayurved Vachaswati MD Ayurved in Dravegon Vidyan, Ayurved Vachaswati MD Ayurved in Ayurved Samhita Evam Siddhant, Ayurved Vachaswati MD Ayurved in Kaya Chikitsa, Ayurved Vachaswati MD Ayurved in Swasthrut, 
आयुर्वेद वाचस्पति एम डी आयुर्वेद इन रसशास्त्र एंड भाष्यज कल्पना आयुर्वेद वाचस्पति एम डी आयुर्वेद इन अगद तंत्र आयुर्वेद धन्वंतरी एम एस आयुर्वेद इन प्रसूति एवं स्त्री रोग आयुर्वेद धन्वंतरी एम एस आयुर्वेद इन शालाक्य आयुर्वेदाचार्य बैचलर ऑफ आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन एंड सर्जरी बी एम एस डिप्लोमा इन नैचुरोपैथी एंड योगिक साइंसेस डी एन वाई एस डिप्लोमा इन आयुर्वेदिक कॉस्मेटोलॉजी एंड स्किन डिजीज डी डर्मेटोलॉजी आयुर्वेद डिप्लोमा इन प्रसूति एंड स्त्री रोग डी जी ओ आयुर्वेद डिप्लोमा इन बालरोग डी सी एच आयुर्वेद एंड हू हैव रजिस्टर्ड फॉर दिस कन्वोकेशन एंड आर प्रेजेंट हियर देर आर सम अदर्स हू हैव ऑल्सो पास दिस एग्जामिनेशन एंड हू हैव रजिस्टर्ड फॉर दिस कन्वोकेशन बट हैव बीन परमिटेड टू रिमेन एबसेंट ऑन दिस ओकेजन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू काइंडली कन्फर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स द रिस्पेक्टिव डिग्रीज एंड डिप्लोमाज सर एट स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ दिस फैकल्टी आर अवॉर्डेड द पी एच डी डिग्री इन दिस कन्वोकेशन थैंक यू यानंतर होमिओपॅथिक विद्याशाखेच्या अधिष्ठाता डॉक्टर अनिता पाटील या त्या विद्याशाखेच्या स्नातकांना पदवी प्रदान करावी अशी माननीय कुलपतींना विनंती करतील ऑल ग्रॅज्युएट्स ऑफ होमिओपॅथी फॅकल्टी शुड राईज ऑनरेबल मिस्टर चान्सलर सर आय प्रेझेंट बिफोर यू द स्टुडंट हू हॅव बीन डिक्लेअर टू हॅव पास द एक्झामिनेशन ऑफ डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलॉसॉफी पी एच डी डॉक्टर ऑफ मेडिसिन होमिओपॅथी इन प्रॅक्टिस ऑफ मेडिसिन डॉक्टर ऑफ मेडिसिन होमिओपॅथी इन मटेरा मेडिका डॉक्टर ऑफ मेडिसिन होमिओपॅथी इन होमिओपॅथिक फार्मसी डॉक्टर ऑफ मेडिसिन होमिओपॅथी इन होमिओपॅथिक फिलॉसॉफी डॉक्टर ऑफ मेडिसिन होमिओपॅथी इन होमिओपॅथिक रेपॉटरी बॅचलर ऑफ होमिओपॅथिक मेडिसिन अँड सर्जरी अँड हु हॅव रजिस्टर्ड फॉर दिस कॉन्वोकेशन अँड आर प्रेझेंट हिअर there are some others who have also passed these examinations and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent for this occasion i request you to kindly confer on these students the respective degrees sir two students of this faculty are awarded the phd degree in this convocation thank you yanantar paricharya vidya shakhe cha adhishtata dr nilima bhore या त्या विद्याशाखेच्या स्नातकांना पदवी प्रदान करावी अशी माननीय कुलपतींना विनंती करतील ऑल ग्रॅज्युएट ऑफ नर्सिंग फॅकल्टी शुड राईज ऑनरेबल मिस्टर चान्सलर सर आय प्रेझेंट बिफोर यू द स्टुडंट्स हू हॅव बीन डिक्लेअर्ड टू हॅव पास द एक्झामिनेशन ऑफ डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलॉसॉफी पी एच डी मास्टर ऑफ सायन्स नर्सिंग इन मेडिकल सर्जिकल नर्सिंग मास्टर ऑफ सायन्स नर्सिंग in community health nursing master of science nursing in pediatric nursing master of science nursing in psychiatric nursing master of science nursing in obstetrical and gynecological nursing post basic bachelor of science nursing bachelor of science nursing and who have registered for this convocation and are present here there are some others who have also passed these examinations and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion i request you to kindly confirm on these students the respective degrees sir three students of this faculty are awarded the phd degree in this convocation thank you yanantar aushadh nirman vidya shakhe cha adhishtata dr varsha pokharkar या त्या विद्याशाखेच्या स्नातकांना पदवी प्रदान करावी अशी माननीय कुलपतींना विनंती करतील ऑल ग्रॅज्युएट ऑफ फार्मास्युटिकल सायन्सेस फॅकल्टी शुड राईज ऑनरेबल मिस्टर चान्सलर सर आय प्रेझेंट बिफोर यू द स्टुडंट्स हू हॅव बीन डिक्लेअर्ड टू हॅव पास द एक्झामिनेशन ऑफ डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलॉसॉफी पी एच डी डॉक्टर ऑफ फार्मसी फार्म डी मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी फार्मास्युटिक्स मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी pharmaceutical chemistry master of pharmacy pharmacology master of pharmacy pharmacognosy master of pharmacy quality assurance techniques master of pharmacy pharmaceutical biotechnology master of pharmacy regulatory affairs bachelor of pharmacy bachelor of pharmacy practice and who have registered for this convocation and are present here there are some others who have also passed these examinations and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion 
I request you to kindly confer on these students the respective degrees. Sir, seven students of this faculty are awarded the PhD degree in this convocation. Thank you. Yanant Vyavasthapa Vidya Shakhecha Adishthata Dr. Sachin Vernekar Hetya Shakhecha Snatakana Padvi Va Padvika Pradhan Karavyat Ashi Mananiya Kulapatina Vinanti Karti. All graduates of Management Studies faculty should rise. Honorable Mr. Chancellor Sir, I present before you the students who have been declared to have passed the examinations of Doctor of Philosophy, Integrated Master of Computer Application, Master of Computer Application, Master of Business Administration, Master of Business Administration, Human Resource, Master of Business Administration, Information Technology, Master of Business Administration, Biotechnology, Bachelor of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Bachelor of Science, Hospitality and Hotel Administration, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Process Management, Bachelor of Computer Application, and who have registered for this convocation and are present here. There are some others who have also passed these examinations and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion. I request you to kindly confer on these students their respective degrees. Sir, 15 students of this faculty are awarded the PhD degree in this convocation. Thank you. Yanandar Abhiyantriki wa Tantranyan Vidya Shakhecha Adishthata Dr. Shashank Joshi Hetya Vidya Shakhecha Snatakana Padvi Pradhan Karavi Ashi Mananiya Kulapatina Vinanti Karti. All graduates of Engineering and Technology faculty should rise. Honorable Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present before you the students who have been declared to have passed the examinations of Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Master of Technology, Civil Hydraulics, Master of Technology, Computer, Master of Technology, Chemical, Master of Technology, Electronics, VLSI, Master of Technology, Electrical Power Systems, Master of Technology, Mechanical CAD CAM, Master of Technology, Information Technology, Master of Technology, Nanotechnology, Master of Architecture, Sustainable Architecture, Bachelor of Technology, Electronics and Telecommunication, Bachelor of Technology, Chemical, Bachelor of Technology, Civil, Bachelor of Technology, Computer, Bachelor of Engineering, Computer, Bachelor of Technology, Mechanical, Bachelor of Technology, Production, Bachelor of Technology, Electronics, Bachelor of Technology, Information Technology, Bachelor of Technology, Biomedical, Bachelor of Architecture, Diploma in Network Security, and who have been registered for this convocation and are present here. There are some others who have also passed this examination and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion. I request you to kindly confer on these students the respective degree and diplomas. Sir, 17 students of this faculty are awarded the PhD degrees in this convocation. Yanantar, Dr. Mandar Karmarkar, Antar Vidya Shakhecha Snatakana Padvi Vo Padvika Pradhan Karavyat, Ashi Mananiya Kulapatina Vinanti Karti. All graduates of Interdisciplinary Studies faculty should rise. Honorable Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present before you the students who have been declared to have passed the examinations of Master of Science Geoinformatics, Master of Science Bioinformatics, Master of Science Medical Biotechnology, Master of Science Wildlife Conservation Action, Advanced Diploma in Bioinformatics, and who have registered for this convocation and are present here. There are some others who have also passed these examinations and who have registered for this convocation but have been permitted to remain absent on this occasion. I request you to kindly confer on the students the respective degrees and diploma. Ata Mananiya Kulapati Snatakana Padvi Va Padvika Pradhan Karti. Now all the graduates should rise. Honorable Chancellor will confer the degrees and diplomas. By virtue of the authority vested with me as the Chancellor of this university, 
I hereby declare that all the candidates who are present here and those who are permitted to remain absent are admitted to the respective degrees and diplomas, and same are conferred on them as proposed by the respective deans of the faculties. Yanantar. Yanantar Pratek Vidya Shakhan Madil Padyutar, Bopadvi Parikshan Made Sarvocha Gunamilon Uttirna Zharila Vidyarthana, Pramuk Pahune, Manani and Amdar Shri Biyush Goyal, Manani Dr. Bhushan Patwardhan, Manani Kulapati, Manani Kulaguru, O Manani Pra Kulaguru, Yanja Haste, Sola Padaki and Pramana Patri Pradhan Karnechi Vinanti Karti. Chief Guest Honorable Shri Piyush Goyal, Honorable Dr. Bhushan Patwardhan, Honorable Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor, and Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor will felicitate the rank holders of postgraduate and undergraduate examinations with Chancellor's gold medals and certificates of merit. Dr. Mandar Karmarkar, Dean, Faculty of Medical Sciences, will present the gold medalist. I request Honorable Shri Piyush Goel, Chief Guest of this convocation, to kindly felicitate the rank holders with Chancellor's gold medals and certificates of merits. Sciences, Ms. Kolte Surbhi Rajiv, who stood first in Doctor of Medicine, Dermatology, Venerology and Leprosy examination held in summer 2020. Ms. Pense Tanvi Nitin, who stood first in Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery examination, held in January 2019. Ms. Kanbarkar Madhuja Abhishek, who stood first in Doctor of Medicine, MD Anesthesiology examination held in summer 2019. Ms. Amandeep Ludhar, who stood first in Master of Surgery MSENT examination held in summer 2019. Ms. Swarali Devendra Joshi, who stood first in Master of Science Audiology, MSc Audiology examination held in summer 2021. Mr. Ajay Kumar Sharma, who stood first in Master of Hospital Administration examination, held in summer 21. Mr. Champaneria Monil Nilesh Kumar, who stood first in Bachelor of Optometry B Optum, examination held in summer 2021. Ms. Urvi Shantanu Mahajani, who stood first in Bachelor of Audiology and Speech Language Pathology, BSLP examination held in summer 2021. Faculty of Dentistry, Ms. Ananya Guha, who stood first in Master of Dental Surgery, MDS, Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics examination held in summer 21. Ms. Zadhav Shruti Deepak, who stood first in Bachelor of Dental Surgery, BDS examination held in summer 2020. Thank you, sir. 
Dr. Anita Patil, Faculty of Homeopathy, will present the gold medalist. I request Honorable Dr. Bhushan Patwardhan, guest of honor, to felicitate the rank holders with Chancellor's gold medals and certificate of merit. Faculty of Ayurved, Ms. Mrinami Hedau, who stood first in MD Ayurveda, Rasa Shastra Evam Bhasharja Kalpana, examination held in summer 2021. Ms. Chande Vaishali Nandalal, who stood first in MS Ayurveda, Prasuti Evam Stri Rog examination held in summer 2021. Ms. Mujawar Arshin Riyaz, who stood first in Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery, BMS examination held in winter 2020. Faculty of Homeopathy, Ms. Gaidanantuli Kamai, who stood first in MD Homeopathy, Homeopathic Philosophy, examination held in summer 2021. Ms. Challa Shweta, who stood first in Bachelor of Homeopathic Medicine and Surgery, BHMS examination held in winter 2020. Faculty of Nursing, Ms. Sonali Kedar Atre, who stood first in Master of Science, MSc Nursing, Obstetric and Gynecology Nursing, examination held in summer 2021. Ms. Gautam Divya Amritlal, who stood first in Bachelor of Science, Nursing, BSc Nursing, examination held in summer 2021. Audience, please welcome these uh, achievers. Ms. Nalaude Ankita Ullas, who stood first in post basic Bachelor of Science Nursing, PBSC Nursing examination held in summer 2021. Faculty of Pharmacy, Ms. Moni Deepa Choudhury, who stood first in Doctor of Pharmacy, Farm D examination held in summer 2020. Ms. Meher Puja Santosh, who stood first in Master of Pharmacy, M. Pharma examination held in summer 2020. Give them great applause, please. Mr. Prasad Sri Krishna Deshpande, who stood first in Bachelor of Pharmacy practice, B. Pharma practice examination held in summer 2021. Thank you. Dr. Vivek Rankhambe, Dean, Faculty of Arts, Social Sciences and Commerce will present the gold medalist. Now I request Honorable Professor Dr. Shivaji Rao Kadam, Chancellor, to felicitate the rank holders with Chancellor's gold medals and certificates of merit. Mr. Prakhar Srivastav, who stood first in Bachelor of Laws, LLB, five-year degree course, examination held in summer 2021. Faculty of Arts, Social Science and Commerce, Ms. Koratkar Aditya Ajit, who stood first in Master of Arts, MA Music, examination held in summer 2021. Mr. S. Nitesh Krishna, who stood first in Bachelor of Commerce, BCom, examination held in summer 2021. Mr. Keskar, Advait Ashish, who stood first in Bachelor of Arts, BA Music, examination held in summer 2021. Ms. Sukruti Das, who stood first in Bachelor of Physical Education, BPED, examination held in summer 2021. Ms. Kurade Sarika Anandrao, who stood first in Bachelor of Library Science and Information Science, Believe and ISC, examination held in summer 2021. Thank you, sir. Dr. Shashan Zoshi, Dean, Faculty of Engineering and Technology, will present the gold medalists. 
Now I request Honorable Professor Dr. Manik Rao Salanke, Vice Chancellor, to felicitate the rank holders with Chancellor's Gold Medals and Certificates of Merit. May I now request Professor Dr. Manik Rao Sarangke, Honorable Vice Chancellor, to felicitate the rank holders with gold medals and certificate of merit. And the Faculty of Engineering, Ms. Nidhi Shah, who stood first in Mark Master of Architecture, MR Sustainable Architecture examination held in summer 2021. Ms. Nabila Khan, who stood her First in Bachelor of Architecture BR examination held in summer 2021. Thank you, sir. Dr. Sachin Vairnekar, Dean, Faculty of Management Studies, will present the gold medalist. Now I request Honorable Dr. Vishwajit Kadam, Pro Vice Chancellor, to felicitate the rank holders with Chancellor's gold medals and certificates of merit. Ms. Saparna Agarwal, who stood first in Master of Computer Application examination held in summer 2021. Ms. Aparna Agarwal. Please give a big round of applause. Ms. Vanshika Sharma, who stood first in Bachelor of Business Administration examination, held in summer 2021. Thank you, sir. Dhaniwad. Ata mananiya kulasa chip snatakanna uddeshun suchana karte. All the graduates should rise. The alumni shall rise and remain standing till the Honorable Chancellor delivers the exhortation and shall be seated only after the Honorable Chancellor takes his seat. Honorable Chancellor, sir. and of the entire mankind, you should respect knowledge and wisdom and try to gain the same more and more. Revere your mother as a god, revere your father as a god, revere your teacher as a god, revere your nation as a god. You should perform only such acts as are blameless. You should respect and follow the noble deeds performed by our ancestors. You should always follow your conscience. This is my advice to you. Respect it and follow it. Thank you, sir. Yanantar Mananiya Kulaguru Vishwa Vidyalaya Ahwal Sadar Karate. Honorable Vice Chancellor will present the university report. Namaskar. Chief Guest of the Convocation, Honorable Sri Piyush Goelji, Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affairs and Public Distribution and Textiles, Government of India. Guest of Honor, Honorable Dr. Bhushan Patwardhanji, Chairperson NAC Executive Committee and former Vice Chairman University Grants Commission. Honorable Professor Dr. Shivaji Rao Kadam, G, Chancellor Bharti Vidyapi deemed to be university. Honorable Dr. Vishwajit Kadam G, Pro Chancellor of University, Secretary Bharti Vidyapi, Minister of State, 
cooperation, agriculture, social justice, food civil supplies, consumer protection, minorities development, Marathi language, government of Maharashtra. Respected Vaini Saheb Vijay Mala Kadamji, respected Asmitai Jagtap, executive director, Dr. Rajendra Jagtap, Professor S.F. Patil, former vice chancellor of the members of the board of management, academic council, deans of various faculties, principals, directors, distinguished invitees, dignitaries, representatives of media, our registrar, Sri Jay Kumar, controller of examination, Dr. Anthony Roth, officials of the staff of Bharti Vidyapit, young graduates, their proud parents, ladies and gentlemen. I extend a warm and cordial welcome to all of you at the beautiful campus of university on 23rd convocation ceremony. At the outset, I congratulate all the students who have been confirmed with various degrees in subject of their choice, and I'm sure they will cherish this moment throughout their life. Congratulations to the families of the graduating students who, through example, sheer hard work, sacrifice, encouragement, have motivated you to join this institution, higher learning. I would like to start my address with a famous quote from former American President John F. Kennedy. Ask what, not, what, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Friends, exactly our beloved Honorable Dr. Patangraoji Kadam Saab has done this for the country by establishing Bharti Vidyapit in 1964 at the age of 19. It reflects his commitment to provide education to all in various disciplines through a vision, social transformation through dynamic education. I hope this is the strong message from our Sahab to all young graduates that don't ask what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle. And with this motto, Honorable Sahab tried to tried for change the education history by establishing more than 180 educational institutions in rural urban areas through Bharti Vidyapit. I salute to his remarkable contribution to the nation. I would like to mention that leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. And exactly the same was done by our Sahab by establishing Bharti Vidyapi deemed to be university in 1996. Honorable Sahab was a social entrepreneur, a visionary leader who was many years ahead of the time. His relentless efforts along with the motivated team Bharti family have saved our university to its present form. His dream is fulfilled with sustained efforts of Honorable Chancellor, Professor Dr. Shivaji Rao Kadam, sir, and Pro-Chancellor of this university, Dr. Vishwajit Kadamji. Universities cannot be built the future of the youth, but they sure can build the youth of the future. Ours is the unique multidisciplinary and multi-faculty university. Currently, most of the university and institutions are known for their quality work through their performance in NIRF, NAC, and other accreditation. We are proud to inform you that we have been consistent in our performance over the years. In the third cycle of accreditation of the NAC, we have been awarded prestigious a plus grade, therefore the university has been placed in category one status of the University Grants Commission. From the inception of the National Institution Ranking Framework by Government of India, the university has distinct honor of being consistently ranked among top 100 universities by NRF 
with latest being 68th rank. In addition, we are the only university where three constituent units have featured in NIRF ranking respectively. The college, Pune College of Pharmacy, Institute of Management and Entrepreneurship Development, and College of Engineering. Engineering and pharmacy programs have been accredited by NBA for the fourth cycle. We have just recovered from setback due to the COVID-19 pandemic globally. I am proud to mention that university had a special role in this fight against the pandemic. We have considered it is a unique national responsibility that comes from our history, our generosity, and our core values. The first volunteer of Covishield vaccine testing in India was enrolled in Bharti Hospital, Pune. This feat has been appreciated by one and all. The medical college and hospital, Pune, has immensely contributed for testing, treatment of going patients, which has been appreciated by state COVID task force. Immediate demand of oxygen was met setting up oxygen plant with enhanced capacity at our hospital in Pune and Sangli. Our research institute, Irsha, set up by grant from Department of Biotechnology, did testing immunogenicity of Zydus Cadilla, which is the first global COVID DNA vaccine approved for children about 12 years. This has been appreciated by the Prime Minister's office. Dr. Asmita Jagtap, Executive Director of Bharti Vidyapit Health Sciences, Pune, who has been awarded by Leading Media Group Women Achiever Award, me, Naudurga, and Corona Warrior for her outstanding contribution towards managing patient care efficiently and management of clinical trial testing during the COVID pandemic. I would like to put on record efforts of our management and staff of all doctors, nurses, ancillary staff, students who stood up the challenge and immediately responded by creating system for screening, clinical trials, testing, and treatment of COVID patients, special COVID work, and diligence of care patients. We have been recognized for this not only by local circles, but also at national level. I will provide a quick review of the university achievements in this year. Introduced Bachelor in Physiotherapy program from the year 2021 at Pune and Sangli campus. Two niche programs in management and engineering have been introduced at Navi Mumbai. University has more than 180 collaborations and linkages with national and international organizations, India, France, Russia, US, Germany, UK, Sweden, you can name any country. More than 13 crore, crore resource funding received through various government and non-government agencies. Faculty members have published more than 800 research papers, 16 books, 33 chapters, seven patents are granted this year. Organize almost 180, 150 national, 15 international seminars, workshop, conferences through online mode. Close to 1,000 faculty members have attended the workshop, conferences, presented research papers, and posted. 18 students of School of Performing Arts have been achieved the Medal of Award in various activities. It is a special proud to mention about this particular proud moment for us. Nine girl students of School of Performing Arts Pune selected prestigious 26 January Republic Day Grand Parade. Delhi represent classical dance. Miss Abhidnya Patil, this is an international I would like to mention, Abhidnya Patil, student of Institute of Management, Kolhapur, has been selected for international shooting championship at China. 
133 students participated in inter-university tournament, two gold medals, three silver, two bronze medals, while 100 students of College of Physical Education represented the university at Kelo India University Games 2021. The State Advisory Committee of NSS highly appreciated the NSS activities. We received the Best NSS Officer Award, Best NSS, NSS Unit Award, NSS Unit Shot conducted several activities which benefited 60,000. 48 faculty members, 80 students, and 13 institutes won prestigious award in academic year. Dr. Varsha Pokarkar has been declared among the top 2% researchers globally. <laughs> Professor Sarangdar Sate has been honored for his contribution in the field of music. <laughs> Dr. Sanjay Londe received presidential award PVSM at Rashtrapati Bhavan. AICT Lilavati Award for recognizing efforts toward the women empowerment. IMED team won first prize among literacy category, while Pune College of Pharmacy team won first runner-up prize for women health category. Dr. Samita Kumar selected among the 75 women honored to the book She Is the principal scientific advisor, Government of India and British High Commission. Dr. Dilip Kumar of Pune College of Pharmacy selected for SERB International Research Experience Fellowship for 22-23. About 500 companies visited our campus, resulting in about 1,500 students placed with average package more than the 3.5 lakhs per annum till now. On the 74th Independence launched Ami Bhartiya campaign to involve alumni, staff, well-wishers of Bharti Vidyapit for social activities to commemorate 75th year of independence. Established BVDU Incubation Center, received project of 9 crore for sports as the vehicle for inclusion and recognition in India, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, name of the project is Spirit from the European Commission. Three constituent units have been recognized performer at Atal Ranking Institution Innovation Achievement 2021. The university has established new simulation lab along with CT, MRI machine, and Human Milk Bank at Medical College Pune. Dental College Hospital Pune has received international training center status for conducting BLS, ACLS instruction and heart saver courses. This convocation, 8,184 students have been conferred with their graduate, postgraduate degrees, 46 meritorious students with, will be honored with gold medal and 70 students will be awarded with doctorate degree. We plan to implement NEP this is our vision. With a true spirit of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, we will train the students. We are fully prepared to implement NEP from the next academic year. Dear graduate, congratulations and well done. Work hard, never cease to work. Work together for the future India. Contribute to the community around you because in it you it find humanity and the reason to lie. And above all, if you are prepared to think big, act in the time with conviction, you will be rewarded. We are proud of you and look forward welcoming you back. The graduating students are looking up to Honorable Sri Piyush Goelji and Honorable Bhushan Patwardhanji as a role model and look forward for motivating message from both of them. Let me once again congratulate all the graduates for their success in respective discipline. Wish you all the best in your endeavors. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar. Dhaniwaad, sir. Ata Mananiya Prakula Guru, Namdar Dr. Vishwajit Kadam, 
प्रमुख पाहुणे आणि सन्माननीय पाहुणे यांचा परिचय करून देतील नाव आय रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर विश्वजित कदम प्रो व्हाईस चान्सलर टू इंट्रोड्यूस द ऑनरेबल चीफ गेस्ट अँड गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर Good morning uh, distinguished guests and dignitaries on the dais we are very fortunate and privileged to have the honorable union minister of trade commerce industry consumer affairs food and public distribution for the government of india and i would like to deliberately mention here a very close and dear personal friend of our founder honorable dr patangrao ji kadam we are privileged to have honorable shri piyush goel ji minister government of india with us we welcome you we are also honored to have shri bhushan patwardhan ji former vice chairman of the university grants commission and executive chairman of the chairman of the executive committee of national accreditation and, and assessment council the honorable chancellor of bharti vidyapeet dean university professor dr shivaji rao kadam sir the honorable vice chancellor of the bharti vidyapeet dean university professor manik rao sarunke sir the registrar of the university jay jay kumar the controller of examination shri anthony ros distinguished faculty members teaching non teaching faculty members and most element, importantly the graduating students the members of the media press the invitees fellow students and uh, honorable guests i am extremely privileged to introduce our two distinguished guests present on the dais here today who have taken out the valuable time and be and present to guide us on this important occasion of the convocation ceremony of the bharti vidyapeet dean university i would like to say a few words before i start with the introduction honorable dr patangrao ji kadam founded bharti vidyapeet the parent organization of the bharti vidyapeet university on 10th may 1964 the year has a significance important because our honorable guest shri piyush goel ji who is a senior member of the union cabinet and holding many important portfolios and taking our country to newer heights began his life journey in the year 1964 and that's the exact same year that bharti vidyapeet dean institution was formed by dr patangrao ji kadam at the age of 19 some of you are aware of dr patangrao ji kadam's background and history but some students and some invitees dignitaries may not be honorable dr patangrao ji kadam was born in a small village having a population of 400 people it was a village which was drought affected there was no drinking water there was no drink water for farming as well both my grandparents and dr patangrao ji kadam's parents were uneducated no access to primary education and uh, dr patangrao ji kadam himself had to walk almost 7.5 kilometers daily for his primary and secondary education he completed his primary education in an adjoining village and then went to a village uh, called kundal for his secondary education he completed his education in the raj shikshan sanstha uh, with the earn and learn scheme as being born in a farmer's family there was limited access to even pay for the education resources after completing his, his education and uh, from kundal and satara taking inspiration from karmavir bhavrao patil who was the founder of the raj shikshan sanstha and yashwantra mohite bhav he came in a truck with 7 rupees in his pocket in the on the age of 16 to the city of pune and started working as a part time teacher in uh, hadapsan in a small school for two consecutive years he stayed in that school from 1962 to 64 and in 1964 at the age of 
in a small room bharti vidyapeet institution was formed and he started taking primary education in english maths and science colleges uh, subjects one thing i would like to mention here uh, honorable piyush goel ji that we were fortunate enough that dr patak rao ji kadam uh, kadam sahib had a foresight in the constitution that was written by him in 1964 he had written that one day this institution will convert to a university and this is what happened in 1996 when we became a deemed to be university status and uh, in bharti vidyapeet university became the first multi faculty deemed university in the indian history and uh, ugc vice chairman bhushan patwardhan ji is a witness to that our entire university report card has been placed by the honorable vice chancellor we are known for our higher education for our medical engineering management law pharmacy and other faculties but what most people are unaware of that with our founders vision and social commitment apart from being a deemed university and having several colleges which provide conventional educational uh, degrees to students in india we run 90 schools in different 90 villages on the state of maharashtra imparting primary and secondary education to students born in poor rural families this is the work that bharti vidyapeet has set up in the with the vision of honorable dr patak rao ji kadam sir i am extremely honored and happy that uh, you have honorable pug goel has taken out his very valuable time to be present amongst us here today we all know that is a minister of commerce and industry consumer affairs food and public distribution coincidentally food and public distribution is a portfolio that i hold in the state of maharashtra and textiles government of india he has been a leader of the rajya sabha shri goel ji is a rare contribution of expertise in finance and law why I mention this is he has been a graduate of chartered accountancy he has done his banking experience of working with one of the most reputed and prestigious banking uh, institutions of india he is being an investment banker himself we have also guided india's leading corporate industries in his earlier uh, personal career and he has been an inspiration for many people and especially for people who want to come from the corporate side to the uh, political sector and take our country to newer heights honorable piyush goel ji's mother was a three time mla in the maharashtra tenure and i would like to personally share here that his mother and our honorable founder dr patak rao ji kadam shared a very personal rapport and they were very fond of each other and respected each other personally always goel sahib as a minister of railways as a minister of industry and commerce i've seen him we've all heard his speeches in lok sabha and rajya sabha we've seen him the kind of commitment and dedication he has to take india to greater heights by creating international linkages to increase the commerce commerce and industry trade between middle eastern countries to european countries and we constantly see him take genuine efforts in doing this honorable piyush goel ji has been a philosopher and guide for bharti vidyapeet uh, institution personally to me he has been very helpful i thank him that today uh, he has taken out his time and being amongst us today honorable shri bhushan patwardhan ji is needs no introduction in the academic sector people in india and people abroad also know him for his tremendous work in scientific research and his huge contribution for the upliftment of quality education that has been imparted in the indian education sector he has been a research scientist himself his work on prestigious national international universities he has worked uh, as the U vice chairman of the university grants commission he is today the executive uh, he is the chairman of the executive committee of the national assessment and accreditation council which decides the quality parameters for each and every central statutory and private university in our operating in our country today he is one of the main people who guided indian government and several research institutions prestigious institutions in our country to make sure that research and innovation is is a very uh, committed and dedicated uh, department in our education indian education sector i thank bhushan patwardhan ji who has been known 
to Bharti Vita Peet for more than 35, 40 years. Uh, my father and him had a personal rapport, our Honorable Chan Chancellor and him had shared a personal rapport in the Pune University. And his father, late Raya Kaka Patwardhanji, has al also been one of the key pillars of Bharti Vidya Peet and for my father. I am very, very honored and privileged that all our graduating students get an opportunity to, to take the blessings and of course the valuable guidance for the future career with these two prestigious personalities of our Indian uh, soil. I thank Piyush Goelji again and I hope that with the new education policy, of course, apart from the central and state universities, there will be a very considerate look for the private education institutions with his eyes and with the central government as well. I thank him again, Piyush Goel Saab, that you have come here to guide us today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bhushan Patwardhanji. And I wish all the students the best for their future career. Congratulations to all the students and faculty members. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra. Thank you, sir. Yanantar Sanmananiya Pahone, Mananiya Dr. Bhushan Patwardhan, Adyaksha Karyakari Mandal, National Accreditation Assessment Council and Maji Upadhyaksha University Grants Commission Snatakanna Uddeshun Bhashan Karti. Guest of Honor, Honorable Dr. Bhushan Patwardhan, Chairman, Executive Committee, NAC, and former Vice Chairman, UGC, will deliver his speech. Thank you. At the outset, I would like to pay my deep respect to Honorable Dr. Patangraoji Kadam, founder of this uh, great institution or rather a network of great institutions. You know. uh, I will speak uh, in Marathi and very brief. You know. But before that, let me congratulate uh, all the students who have uh, received not only the gold medalist, because please don't consider that uh, gold medal is the last thing. You know. uh, several thousands are here who have been graduated today. And I wish all of you a very, very bright career. You are taking a very prestigious degree in your hand, that is of Bharati Vidyapit. And I'm sure you will carve your career uh, very well. Wherever you go, you will succeed. Bharati Vidyapit is a Geet upon Bhagitlana. It is a Survat Hoti, Sakaryane, and it is Sakaryane. And if you have a Geet Survat, then you will have a Geet Survat. You will have a Geet Survat. You will have a Geet Survat. And she must have grown with this Geet, you know, when she was small. Vijay Malaji, we are here, 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 we are here. And today, we are here to witness that we are not only a mantra, not only a minister, not only a minister, but he is a thinker. He is a transformational person. And I was telling him, you know, that whenever I see him on the screen, arguing, defending, debating. I really enjoy that. Dr. Piyush Goel, you are such a wonderful uh, person, not only as a minister, but you have been inspiration to the Indian business community as well. And in Atmanirbhar Bharat, people like you will shape it very well. Thank you. Dr. Shivajar Kadam and me, we have been working together for years. You know. In Pune University, uh, we contributed uh, uh, quite a lot. Uh, when Patangraoji was developing this institute, Shivaji Rao, in the university, was supporting him uh, as a member of management council. You know. And not only he founded the faculty of uh, uh, pharmacy, but uh, many of his contributions uh, in the university grants commission are also today very well known. Let me tell you that there are very few people I have seen, POG, in UGC, you know. After completing the term, if they go there, they are welcome much more than even they were before. So, so he is one such uh, person. Balaseb, as we fondly call him, you know, uh, or Vishwajit, you know. He brought a new energy. And coincidentally, both of them are minister. One is representing state, one is representing center, with some overlap of portfolios also, you know. So this is a, and I was also told that they were together at Harvard Business School for a course, you know. So, so good to see such young, dynamic political uh, leaders, you know, who are trying to transform the uh, education in our country. The new education policy or national education policy 2020, what we talk about, you know, 
if I want to really distill it out, because there is no time, if I want to distill it out, what are the highlights of it? One of the most important highlight is, it is student-centric. It is empowering students to do what you want to do. Earlier students, you had very less opportunity to pick and choose subjects of your own interest. If a medical student wants to do something in Bharatanatyam, she may not be able to do that formally. You know? And I, jo I really respect all those who do this kind of extracurricular activity. And let me tell you, this is not extracurricular activity. Uh, this is actually a curricular activity. A girl student who is spending maybe six months to study Arangetram, why we should undermine her contributions and say that it is extracurricular? So these kind of opportunities have been created uh, by the national education policy. Uh, my mentor, Dr. Kasturi Rangan, with whom I had privilege of working together, you know, uh, has given this entirely innovative policy which can literally transform our entire education system. You know. uh, another important component of this is uh, focus on faculty. Because whatever you may do, unless you have a very strong faculty, uh, the change is not possible. And so I'm so happy to see that a very eminent researcher and academician, you know, Dr. Manik Rao Salunke, who is uh, now vice chancellor of this university. He himself is a very outstanding chemist coming from Institution of Science uh, from India, and he is leading this uh, university as a vice chancellor uh, very, very effectively. You know. uh, so teacher development or faculty development, you know, faculty should not, I am opinion that faculty should not monopolize education. Rajendra ji is sitting here, you know, he comes from IS. I have seen him while struggling to study for IS, you know, coming from Saswar, such a small uh, uh, town, you know, and next to him is uh, M.S. Zado, who is chartered accountant. You know. And they are the people who were really inspired by Patangra Kadam. I have seen how many thousands or millions of young students were inspired by Patangra ji. And uh, Vishwaji ji, inspiration is not only enough. You know, giving opportunity, giving them encouragement. Bharati Vidyapit is one of the very few universities where I have seen that thousands, they don't talk much about it, you know, but the thousands of free ships, fee waivers, scholarships are given to those needy people, needy students, needy families who are coming from those areas where students may not even have dreamt that somebody from our family will become doctor or will become engineer. This kind of a professional uh, education outreach, which Bharati Vidyapit opened it for those who are needy, you know, is amazing. You know, means, uh, uh, Bharati Vidyapit, in my opinion, is an uh, ideal university, which our uh, national education policy is telling us to develop. So you are already uh, ahead of uh, that region. I also must mention that Bharati Vidyapit is known for its education, quality education, what Patangrao Kadam started with a small, small room, actually, I know. Uh, and uh, by uh, teaching students, you know, English language, because that was one of the, he, he identified that that was one of the very weak point in uh, our own students, you know, they need to talk good English. And I was talking to PUG that how we can get his kind of a quality articulation among many of our students, you know. That also is necessary. So this kind of a personality development, importance of that has been given in national education policy. National education policy also tell us the value and importance of our own heritage. Because if we are talking about education in India, if our graduate, he or she do not know what are the agonies of farmers who are making suicide in Marathwada, that student is not a complete student, in my opinion. If that student is not able to really understand the variety of discipline, not only his or her own discipline, but Kavya Shastra Vinodena, that's what we call it in Marathi, you know. Unless you are able to take uh, uh, essence of what is happening around you, connect yourself with the society, and try to give back to the society, this is not complete. And I think I learned this from Patang Raoji. Because he actually practiced it. Giving back to the society, he practiced it very much. You know. While I was at UGC, uh, PUG, my own mission was to deregulate UGC. 
and prakash jawdekar was that minister at that time and he was also very much in line with this that as a regulator we should not really regulate everything you know we currently we are actually over regulated so we need to do something and so at ugc we did started doing that that our entire system should be based on trust so let people declare what they have if they declare wrongly you can punish them but you cannot take a stand that all of you are doing going to do something wrong this is a british mindset the regulations which were prepared you know with the british mindset needs to be changed our heritage is important that must be brought in 14 vidya 64 kala you know and i am so happy to see kala also is an important component of this i am happy to know that bharati vidyapeeth was first amongst few universities which recognized the importance of environmental sciences this is one of the top and very important department in this and also kala and lalit kala you know bharati vidyapeeth also in front of me decided to focus research and therefore irsha which is one of the top research institute was created so is lot to talk pg about this you know and the vaishnav that has given the whole full uh, record of their achievement i'm not going to talk about it much but let me tell you the new national education policy also is telling you something else which just certainly was touched by uh, vishwajit ji and that is they are actually uncompartmentalization uh, what we see they are telling you that you break these walls break these compartments no public private why we should differentiate some university based on whether this university is public or private you know because i know that there are good and bad in both you know so and i have seen you know and i i visit uh, many uh, universities across the world uh, and definitely in india i must tell you that the private university is the way in which they are emerging i think we should encourage them we should give them more and more autonomy we should trust them they will do wonders you know and uh, bharati vidyapeeth is living example of what i am telling you the decision making or the regulation should be based on quality as a determining criteria not public private not state central not medical non medical not rural urban last point i just wanted to make is about bharati vidyapeeth because i started with sahakarya and satkarya you know and bharati vidyapeeth motto is uh, social commitment uh, and uh, uh, ugc had come out with a idea that every top university you have studied at harvard your kids have studied with hard work every top university has something called a study abroad program in which students are sent outside the university for one semester but in india we don't need study abroad program because if a student from darbanga comes to palakkad college you know that is study abroad or if some students from delhi goes to marathwada and lives with the family or sees what transformation dr patangaro kadam has made in sonsar that learning no classrooms can give them so we should break this monopoly of classrooms we should break this monopoly of teachers because society is a greater teacher and we have been not paying attention uh, to that part and we are practically saying that if you come to us if you take admission we will give you prospectus or whether we will sell you prospectus whatever is the given in the syllabus you will have to blindly follow if you reproduce what we tell you in answer book to reproduce we will give you marks or we will make you we are not allowing this critical thinking component which is most important and that is what national education policy is telling us to do and uh, i personally feel that it is because of the uh, colonial impact in our mind we have thrown into what i call it as monocultural dominance in knowledge we are saying that whatever is coming from the west is only good but there is difference between western and modern western is not equal to modern we want modern but modernity is also within our own culture you know within our own heritage we should rediscover that and education for atmanirbhar bharat because if you say that this damage which was done through wrong narratives if you want to correct that knowledge it can be corrected only through education and that experiment already is underway at bharti vidyapeeth university with this i would again uh, request i am so happy that uh, swapnali ji is also present here you know you know i have seen that there are very few women entrepreneurs who are able to really raise and raise the bar of quality she is one of them 
and the whole family of uh, uh, Patangrao ji, I would say, you know, the, and I consider as part of that family also. Today I may be in NAC. I am here in the capacity of family member of Bharati Vidya. I wish you all the best. I'm sure Bharati Vidya Pitt will grow uh, and the contributions of the uh, various uh, deans, faculty members, members of the management council and other authorities. Uh, I would like to really uh, note that the contributions from former vice chancellors, Uttamra Boite, S.F. Patil, they're sitting here and also those who uh, stood with Patang Ji when nobody was ready to believe him. Maitreji is also here. He is one of them, you know. He, and I know Mukund Ji power, I can name several. At that time, nobody was willing to believe Patang Ji that this is going to be the reality. And you know Pune people, how we are, you know. We used to really make, sometimes, oh, how can this be possible, you know. How can, somebody coming from some small rural area, how can, but that happened actually. It created history. And therefore, again at the end, I would like to pay my respect to Patang Ji and would like to. Thank you. Dhaniwaad, sir. Yanantar Pramuk Mahune Manane Namdar Shri Piyush Goyal, Vanijya Udyog Grahak Vyavar, Annani Sarvajanik Vitaran, Ani Vastrodyog Mantri Bharat Sarkar, Snatakanna Uddeshun Dikshant Bhashan Karte. Chief Guest Honorable Shri Piyush Goyal, Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumers Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and Textiles, Government of India will deliver the convocation address. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity to experience the Bharatiya Vidya Peet today. Thank you very much, Vishwati, for uh, inviting me for the 23rd convocation. It will truly be a very memorable day for me in my life. And a big, big congratulations to all the young students both present and in absence, for your wonderful achievements. Honorable Professor Dr. Shivaji Rao Kadam, Chancellor of Bharatiya Vidya Peet, Honorable Dr. Bhusham Patwardhanji, guest of honor, but to me, somebody who's contributed to education all his life, and I'm frankly quite worried and embarrassed that I have to speak after him. And he's given us such a lot of food for thought for all of us in this room. My good friend, my brother, and our young minister of Maharashtra, the pro vice chancellor, Dr. Vishwajit Kadam, an illustrious son of an illustrious father, Honorable Dr. Manik Rao Salunke, vice chancellor. Honorable Sri G. J. Kumar, Registrar. Honorable Controller of Examinations, the deeds of various faculties, all the faculty members, and I am told that over the wide span of over 200 institutions, you have over 10,000 teachers and faculty members. That's truly remarkable, and my salute to Bharatiya Vidya Peet for keeping a very good student-teacher ratio also, which has somehow over the years got lost in the hold of uh, trying to get numbers of students without a good focus on faculty. So really, you are the purpose for the success of this uh, very, very prestigious institution. And I think, uh, of course, uh, most students recognize it. But my own experience is we remember you and recognize your contribution after we leave the college or school and we go into the real world. So really, really a big uh, uh, appreciation for your contribution to making our lives and each one of the students here's lives meaningful and purposeful. Thank you to all the faculty members the Board of Management and Academic Council of Bharatiya Vidya Peet, all the dignitaries present here, parents, proud parents who are seeing their awards get uh, their diplomas and degrees, all the young students who are graduating today, 
Heartiest congratulations once again, ladies and gentlemen. It's truly been a wonderful experience visiting Bhartiya Vidya Peet today. I started by visiting the museum and the library with a rare collection of very, very unique uh, books. And I was reminded of Dr. Kadam. Of course, as uh, Vishwajit rightly said, he was very close to my family. My mother would look up to him like a younger brother. They were fond of each other, as he said. But most importantly, Dr. Kadam was a very vibrant personality, always wanting to do more, always desirous of experimenting with new ideas, new thoughts, and today, getting a flavor of the work that he has done across India and now across the oceans with institutes coming up in other countries, I can realize that that fire in his belly came at a very young age when he was a student himself, starting such a movement, if I can call it that, at the ripe young age of 19, is reflective of his spirit of entrepreneurship and his desire to give back to society, which must have started at a very young age. And in that, my own, ex my own experience is that your early childhood, in a way, shapes the person you will be. And I believe the struggles of Dr. Kadam's childhood, the difficult circumstances in which he was born and brought up, including the essential Thing like water not being available for the farming or for even their drinking water needs must have truly had a very lasting impression on that young boy traveling long distances to go to primary school or get educated, coming to Pune with seven rupees in his pocket, learning while he was earning to make two ends beat must have been a very defining moment in his career. My salutations and homage to Dr. Patangrao Kadam. He's truly a illuminary to, towards whom we all look up to. And I'm sure in the years to come, every student who comes out of Bharatiya Vidyapit and the various other uh, associated schools, colleges, will certainly take back some of his teachings, some of what we heard in earlier speeches, in the chancellor's guidance to the students, in the song that was sung, the university's anthem, all of them reflecting social transformation through dynamic education something which he articulated as the motto of Bharatiya Vidya Peet. Today is also Buddha Purnima. My warmest greetings to all of you and to the nation on this very auspicious occasion. And I have no doubt in my mind that the teachings of Lord Buddha will guide this nation, will help all of us in our lives to hold, uphold the principles that we have learned at this, at the hallowed precincts of Bharatiya Vidya Peet, but also our cultural heritage, our tradition, the value systems that every Indian grows up with, and we will be good citizens of this country as we embark on our journey of life. I was really impressed when I saw the wide array of subjects that are taught at the university. This span covering medical education, engineering, architecture, law, management, Ayush, the traditional medicines, classical arts, 
music, and so many more are all contributing to the making of a developed India, to the making of a prosperous India. And I'm sure the high quality of education that each one of you have received will help this nation in its journey of growth and its journey of prosperity. In fact, I like particularly the focus on research and their desire to generate the spirit of inquiry amongst all their students. I think it is that spirit of inquiry, that inquisitiveness, which will help many of you become entrepreneurs, many of you becoming researchers and contributing to a new future for this nation. In fact, I'm sure many students now must be deliberating on what to do now. Where do you go from here? And therefore, I must talk about the Startup India movement that India today is proud to host. We are the world's third largest startup ecosystem today. We have over 100 unicorns, reflecting a value of over a billion dollars each collectively valued at about half a trillion dollars. Many successful ideas which have taken shape, which have brought ease of doing business, ease of living for our citizens. And therefore, I would like to delve a little more on what opportunities come up from the way the world is changing. In fact, COVID was a challenge before the world, before India. I compliment Bharatiya Vidya Pete for all your contributions during the COVID pandemic. I compliment you for the recognition that you received both from the Indian Army and from the Health Ministry at the center for the good work that was done by your doctors, by your medical institutions and for the support you gave to Zydus in developing the first DNA vaccine in India. But COVID also opened our mind to new opportunities. India as a nation was able to convert this crisis into an opportunity. Digital education came into being in a big way and online classes, online studies continued through the COVID period continued to impart high quality education, continued to take care of the literacy needs of this country. And therefore, when we talk of starting new ideas or innovation or experimenting with new thoughts, what are we trying to suggest? Basically, these are solutions to day-to-day -day problems that we witness in our lives. This morning, before I came here, three young boys, very, very young boys, must have been in their teens or early 20s, met me in Pune. And they were talking to me about patenting their technology that they have developed. And their idea was really simple, very elementary. But after all, they thought of it. None of us did. They recognized that the high beam that is shown by trucks, buses, I think now the politicians' cars have stopped beaming that big light after we removed the beacon from their cars and got them into driving as ordinary citizens. But this high beam that was being flashed on highways was a source of a large number of accidents. And this young team has developed a technology by which if your high beam is on,
Sometimes you don't recognize it, you don't realize it. After a certain amount of time, you'll get a signal. After a certain amount of time, you'll get an alarm. And in that way, it keeps highlighting that your high beam needs to be brought down. It's really not required. It doesn't add to your driving pleasure or convenience at all. But as do many things in this country, chalta hai. Aur chalte chalte, desh ka kitna nuksaad karta hai. Yeh humare kisi ke dhyan mein nahi aate. Aur isi liye jo agli pidi hai, jo aap sab hai, आपके पास एक नया वेपन है एक नया औजार है एक तरीके से जो आपको मौके देता है कि रोजमर्रा की जिंदगी में जो समस्याएं देशवासियों को आती हैं हम सबको भी आती हैं उसके नए रास्ते खोजने का उनको आसान करने का समस्याओं का निदान करने का उनका तरीका ढूंढना कैसे एक अफोर्डेबल तरीके से कम खर्चे पे हम लोगों का जीवन सरल कर सके व्यापार सरल कर सके और पूरी दुनिया में हमारे नई सोच को प्रचारित कर सकते हैं मुझे क्योंकि ट्रक की बात आती है तो एक और स्टार्टअप ध्यान में आता है और मैं ये उदाहरण इसलिए दे रहा हूं कि उदाहरण से कई बार विषय समझना Asan ho jata hai. As they do at the Harvard Business School, the case study model. Case studies, what do they do? They help you relate to similar situations that others before you have faced. And how they navigated the problem, how they came up with solutions, how they addressed the challenges before them. I think many of us are aware that truck drivers have a very, very painful occupation. Suppose a truck starts from Punjab and it's traveling all the way to Kanyakumari. It's, uh, of course, now with the highways and superways getting much better, we are able to move goods much faster. GST has also removed a lot of the paperwork and the check posts across each border, which have helped goods move much faster. But still, it's an arduous journey of many days. The driver runs the vehicle through the day, sometimes through the night. He cooks below the truck or at the side of the truck, also a safety hazard. He sleeps very often, given the weather conditions, under the truck, because the truck is laden with goods. Very often that leads to alcoholism, other social evils. But there, nobody thought of a solution, how to change their lives. At best, People would think of having dhabas or rest houses along the journey so that they can get a square meal on the way or they can get some rest on the way. There's this young team of boys and girls, probably Delhi-based, who came up with a very, very elementary solution to this problem. I suspect it's now become a unicorn, probably called Rivego, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody can Google and check it out. What they did is, they calculated how much a driver can drive safely, how many hours, how many kilometers, and develop pit stops through various traditional routes where goods would tra travel. Something like the Formula One racing cars or something, where you have pit stops after every few rounds where you rejuvenate your vehicle and your driver. What they did is, at these pit stops, a driver would drive from Delhi, let's say, to, from Punjab, let's say, to Jaipur, and he would leave the truck over there. 
another driver would pick up the truck at Jaipur and take it maybe to the next leg of the journey until Mumbai or wherever, leave the vehicle there, and a third driver would take it further. And in the meantime, the first driver would go back from Jaipur, back to his home, reach there by night, have family time, spend time with his kids, eat a wholesome meal at home, for which he could hitch a hike or a ride with any of the trucks that's doing the return journey, which would have also stopped at that pit stop, the driver would have gone back to Ahmedabad and possibly another driver who was driving to Punjab would take over or if you refine, re refine that model further, you could have the first driver having been rested here, drive back to Punjab, another leg of the journey, on another truck. Now, it's an elementary idea. Sounds so simple today. But when they thought of it many years ago, they certainly faced challenges in implementing it. They must have had difficulties in selling the idea. But think about it, my young boys and girls' friends. This is what the world today is all about. What they are, the, the doors are open to new ideas, to entrepreneurship. Education at a prestigious university like Bharatiya Vidya Peet jogs your memory. It opens your mind to think differently, out of the box. Don't go down the beaten path. Not that we don't want you to get good jobs or become government officials or government employees, but don't necessarily look at that safety and the comfort of a cozy job only. Experiment with life. This is the age. Maybe many years later, you may not get the same enthusiasm or ability to take chances. Today, each one of you can afford to fail. And every failure is only a stepping stone to success. And I would urge many of the 8,000 students who are graduating today, or the 3,000 plus who have assembled at this prestigious 23rd convocation, to look, look around you. Opportunities are waiting for each one of us. Whether it's sustainability, whether it's the challenge of climate change, whether it's the need to take water to every home in the country. Incidentally, we are fast progressing on the Jal Jeevan mission, which will take clean water to every home in the country through a tap, Nal Se Jal. And it pains me that what Dr. Patagrao Kadam had to go through in his young days in the 50s and 60s continued until the 21st century and until now. It pains me that somehow governments came and went. Nobody thought that our women, our sisters, our mothers, our daughters, deserve a life of dignity, a life of respect. We did not even have a toilet in every home until a few years ago. Very often when I have to speak to young children and they ask me, what is the biggest achievement over the last eight years that you've been in government? We have launched Atmanirbhar Bharat. We've taken space, space mission in India to the next level. We are promoting growth, we are promoting industry, we are promoting exports, healthcare, and so many other things. Digital technology is going to each village. But you know what I feel most happy about? Not so much as an achievement, but as a debt of gratitude to our mothers and sisters and daughters. As an element, elementary courtesy, 
to the women of India is the fact that we built 120 million toilets in every home in this country. Ek izzat ghar samajik jivan, parivarik jivan ko badal sakta hai. Akhir Hindi picture mein to bhot dikhaya karte te ke gana gaate ve suryodai honne ke pehle humari maata behne शौच के लिए जा रही हैं लेकिन दुर्भाग्य ये है कि किसी ने कभी सोचा नहीं कि इस समस्या को खत्म करने की आवश्यकता है मुझे याद है जब बिजली मंत्री बना था 2014 में तब जब असेस किया तो ध्यान आया कि तीन करोड़ से अधिक घरों में बिजली नहीं पहुंची थी हमें से अधिक लोग बहुत प्रिविलेज्ड हैं हमें शायद समझ नहीं आते हमें ध्यान नहीं आता है कि बिना बिजली के जीवन बिताना कितना मुश्किल है परंतु तीन करोड़ घर यानी छह सात आठ करोड़ बच्चे उनका जीवन क्या होगा हो सकता है उनके परिवार में किसको मौका नहीं मिला मुंबई पुणे आने का नागपुर दिल्ली जाने का जिसके कारण वो शायद दुनिया देख सके जैसा अभी प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर गोखले ने कहा कि आज तो विदेश भी नहीं जाना पड़ता है बच्चा पलकड़ में आके दुनिया देख सकता है नई चीजों का अनुभव ही कर सकता है वैसे तो आप घर बैठे आज इंटरनेट के माध्यम से टीवी के माध्यम से पूरी दुनिया में क्या प्रगति हुई है उसका अनुभव करते हैं अब हम सबका दायित्व है जिनको मौका मिला है जिनको ये अच्छी शिक्षा मिली है जिनके लिए ईश्वर ने शायद वरदान दिया है कि हमको एक अच्छा भविष्य के लिए रास्ता खोल दिया अब ये हम सबका दायित्व है हम सबका सामूहिक दायित्व है वी गिव बैक टू सोसाइटी वी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू नेशन बिल्डिंग एंड दैट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन कैन बी इन मेनी वेज whether you become an entrepreneur whether you come up with new ideas whether you work in government you work in the private sector i would also say whether you work in public life in politics i would love to see some of you becoming active politicians because jab tak rajneeti mein bhi padhe likhe honhar yuva yuvti nahi aayenge तो राजनीति भी हम परिवर्तित नहीं कर पाएंगे और राजनीति एक माध्यम है देश को सुधारने का देश को आगे लेके जाने का और मैं तो आप सबको इनवाइट करूंगा कि आप सोचिए विचार करिए कि कैसे अपने काम के साथ साथ सामाजिक दृष्टिकोण भी जो भारतीय विद्यापीठ में उजागर किया जाता है उसको भी हम मद्देनजर रखें उसको सामने रखते हुए नए आइडियाज को बाहर लाए मेरा विश्वास है आपका एलोमाई एसोसिएशन होगा बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स आज के दिन मुझे बताया गया कि तीन लाख विद्यार्थी अलग अलग संस्थाओं में पढ़ रहे हैं तो एलोमाई तो और बड़ी संख्या में होंगे मैं समझता हूं उन एलोमाइज को भी इन्वॉल्व किया जाए उन एलोमाइज को भी देखा जाए कैसे वो भी चाहे वो शिक्षा प्रदान करने की बात हो आजकल तो हाइब्रिड एजुकेशन से हम अच्छी क्वालिटी की एजुकेशन गांव गांव तक लेके जा सकते हैं क्या उसमें हमारे एलुमनाई हमारे आज के ग्रेजुएट्स जो कल से एलुमनाई बनेंगे इन सब का भी योगदान हो सकता है किस तरीके से हम देश के हर युवा युवती को हर परिवार को एक मौका तो दें एक संभावनाएं तो दे एक भविष्य में उमंग और उत्साह का एक मौका तो दे हर व्यक्ति चाहता है कि उसका घर और अच्छा हो और बड़ा हो उसके जीवन में प्रगति हो और मैं समझता हूं वी आर ऑल लकी दैट वी गॉट गुड अपब्रिंगिंग गुड एजुकेशन बट इट्स इक्वली आवर ड्यूटी टू गिव बैक 
I am reminded of a speech that Steve Jobs had given in 2005, in the initial days when Apple was just finding roots. And I quote, he said, it wasn't all romantic. I didn't have dormitory room, so I slept on the floor in a friend's room. I would walk miles across town every Sunday night to get one good meal at the Hare Krishna temple. Now, if Steve Jobs also could draw inspiration from the Indian ethos, I'm also told he came and spent some years in the Himalayas. If world leaders today are looking up to India, not only for the large opportunities that India gives, but also for the leadership that India is providing in different fields, be it skilled labor, be it education, be it health, the geopolitical importance that India today has in every respect. Each one of us in this room is fortunate to be living today. It is here and now that we can make a difference to the world. And friends, we'll always have easy choices, but I would urge you to take the hard choices of life. Leave behind a lasting legacy, like Dr. Kadam. Each one of us should be remembered for our contribution to nation building. I don't know if you've heard that famous little play on words. Ya to bhaag lo, ya bhaag lo. Ya Hindi mein bolte hai, cut lo, kai log bolte hai. Either you participate or you run away. And in participation, if you look at the longer form of bhaag, B-H-A-G, it is big, hairy, audacious goals. And I would urge each one of you, bhaglo, take on the challenges of life. Pick up some big goals in life. Go in for what is not the norm. And I have no doubt that the grooming that each one of you has got at the Bharatiya Vidya Peet will help you excel in your chosen field. Your practical experiences will hold you in good stead. The digital tools that you're all familiar with will help you innovate, will help you contribute. The liberal education that is today available, particularly since Dr. Gokhale spoke about the new education policy, I'm not delving on that, but we don't want the ranchos of the world to suffer. And we don't want the photographers of the world to be forced to become engineers. Every Madhavan in the three idiots who wanted to be a photographer should be allowed to choose to become a photographer and an eminent photographer. And every Amir Khan, desirous of quality education, should not impersonate, but should be given an opportunity to study. And I think the new national education policy 2020 provides that opportunity for each one of us, provides each one of us the enthusiasm, the encouragement to experiment, to look at new ideas, to go beyond the beaten path. I urge each one of you to make a mark in the future of our wonderful nation. I compliment you, all the award winners, all the gold medalists. I was reminded of my own convocation when I did 
chartered accountancy. It's a very exhilarating feeling. Some of you missed it due to COVID, but I'm glad you were able to come here and enjoy the convocation ceremony. I'm sure you'll all be going out and flinging your hats to celebrate this wonderful occasion. Congratulations once again. God bless all of you. Do well in life. यानंतर कुलसचिव माननीय कुलपती न पदवी प्रदान समारंभ संपन्न झाल्याचं घोषित करावं अशी विनंती करते मी ऑनरेबल मिस्टर चान्सलर सर मे आय रिक्वेस्ट यू टू काइंडली डिक्लेअर द कॉन्वोकेशन क्लोज आय डिक्लेअर दिस कॉन्वोकेशन वुड बी क्लोज आफ्टर द नॅशनल अँथम आता राष्ट्रगीतासाठी सर्वांनी उभं राहावं सर्वांनी मिरवणूक सभा मंडपा बाहेर जाईपर्यंत उभं राहावं ही नम्र विनंती All should rise now for a national anthem and remain standing till the procession leaves the pandal. माता की मिरवणूक सभा मंडपा बाहेर जाईपर्यंत कृपया आपण सर्वांनी जागेवरच उभं राहावं धन्यवाद उर्वरित सुवर्ण पदके या समारंभानंतर लगेचच देण्यात येणार आहेत 